is even somebody is not spiritual, they are still trying to find a way how to create a sense of self-fulfillment. That sense of self-fulfillment, sometimes it happens in material terms. You keep moving your landmark. When you reach, you move slightly further. You keep going a step-by-step -step ladder. Or sometimes you define it a bit of sense of accumulation. Or you start identifying with the work as an individual the person is doing. That becomes the sense of self-fulfillment. Or you can call it success ladder. The one fulfillment you can create that you only can see it while you are awake with mm, consciously awake as you're moving you can see your things around you can think that I have this, I have this, I have this you can list things and you feel fulfilled by it but you can still have little hollowness inside you you can still have little emptiness you don't feel a sense of a relationship to what you have accumulated. Those are things. But they have fulfilled the necessity of sense pleasure. But you still don't feel fulfilled. So you keep searching. Keep accumulating. But when you have gone to sleep, you are no longer aware that what you have filled your life with. But once you become aware and your relationship to your senses change, they becoming day by day awakened your body becomes awakened, your sense becomes awakened, the perception of your sense related relationship to the matter start changing and you start defining life slightly with a higher perspective. In that stage when you are even sleeping, your quality of sleep is different. Even in that sleep, you do not feel a lack. You feel contained. You feel fulfilled. Even you are not restless in sleep. But you can have many things. When sleeping, you're still thinking, what else do you need? Your sleep is restless. Even Your dreams are restless. You can't even rest in the body. What once you develop a higher perspective in the life, that does not mean not having things. People almost immediately take things the wrong way. I'm going to be either completely renounced, will have nothing, will live like a uh, homeless person. There are many homeless people I know, but they are not fulfilled either. You can be a very spiritual person. Day and night, 24-7, meditating or living in a monastery or in a temple or living right next to the Sirah but still may not be fulfilled. Because if there is as long as a need and a sense of lack, remember the two things. Always will not lack your senses to feel any pleasure, any joy. As long as your sense relation, sense relating to the matter as a sense of lack in life, 
anything that does not mean to the matter but also to the spiritual concept. As long as you are witnessing that something is lacking and you need two things need and lack. The ones you have mastered or made a peace with the lack and the need. You are no longer subject to control by your senses. You no longer subject to have an unhealthy relationship of the senses to the matter. Means you start creating a higher perspective or higher perspective relationship to the objects or whatever object that give pleasure to your senses. And in, in that object, I'm even talking about uh, anybody other than yourself. Not just only the object, but even the human beings. So when you are sleeping, remember there is nobody. You are only on your own. Power of fulfillment need a few ingredients. First, you need to be awakened. You need to be have a little uh, hunger inside. Inquisitive nature. You want to do that is something it is inside you that you want to get to know yourself better. But moment you start walking on that path, immediately insecurities arise. And comparisons to other people arise. Remember, everybody who is walking on that path, they are walking their journey. So the moment you start comparing your journey with the fellow companion on the same path, remember there is no that many people, that many paths. There is nobody ahead of you, there is nobody behind you. You are always ahead of it. Otherwise, if you think that we are on the same path, I don't think so. Your karma, your nature, your journey, when you, your life is according to your circumstances, your karmic relationship, and I don't think two people can have similar karmas and same karmas. Not possible. So when people talk about it that we are on the same path, I sometimes laugh. But I can't say that we are not on the same path. You are on your path. I am on my path. Everybody on their path. Hence, we may have the similar tools. As a teacher, I only can provide you tools but your journey is not behind me or behind anyone. There is nobody ahead of you, nobody behind you. There might be many people parallel to you. That's a different story. Somebody parallel to you, that does not mean somebody ahead of you, behind you. You should be focused on your journey. So, point comes of insecurity. You start comparing Oh, this person is ahead of me. But there is nobody ahead of you. You continue to remain contained in your journey. A path of awakening. Path of your transformation. Path of growing. 